Bay Farm is a brand new farm sim RPG by Phoenix Labs that was released just this past weekend. Escape to the world of Fay Farm and create your own cozy home in the enchanted world of Azoria. As you nurture and grow your homestead, you'll get to meet charming characters, foster deep relationships, and discover ways to infuse magic into everything you do. Customize your character, master the arts of crafting, cooking, potion making, and discover so much more. Unfold the mysteries of the island on your own or with up to three other players. You can invite your family and friends or visit their homestead to progress together, playing beside you or online. As the seasons change, you'll be able to unlock new areas and restore the world around you. Embark on a ship and set sail to Azoria. There's a magical world waiting for you. I was lucky enough to receive a code from Phoenix Labs to try this cozy game out, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the character creator. Let's see what we can do here. Body type. <laughs> hmm. Let's just go with this one. Oh, you can change your skin color too. Wow, that is a lot of options. Um, let's see if we make this look like me in real life, but a little bit more fun. Sure, let's go with that one. Eyes. <laughs> yeah, I like these ones. Eye colors. Ooh, you can give your character heterochromia too. Interesting. I think we'll just go for some blue, which is my eye color in real life. But not quite that dark. Let's go with this one. Uh, different eyebrows, too. <laughs> hmm. So far, I'm really liking all the original options here. Eyebrow color. Oh, that's really cool, they, the way they've organized this. They have, like, the, the colors and they have the more gray tone of them right underneath. So you can have yellow, or you can have the more blonde, ashy blonde version of that. Hmm, what color is my hair? Hmm, a little bit darker than that. Not quite so red, though. Definitely not purple. Hmm, let's go with this one. Now. <laughs> This one apparently doesn't laugh. There you go. I do like this one. Hair. Oh, this one is going to take the longest. This one always takes the longest. I wonder if you can... Can you rotate your character? Hmm. It says you should be able to. Oh, by rotating the muscle. There we go. Also very cute. Ooh, I do like the braid. I do wear lots of braids in real life. <laughs> braid down the back. Hmm, <laughs> let's see. Just so we're not going through everything. Also cute. Oh, that's so cute! I love how many options there are. <laughs> All right, we are going to go with the side braid because that was the first one I really liked. And we're going to make the hair color the same as the eyebrows, or which I believe was this one or that one. Oh, this one's a little bit more, more my color. I'll go back and change the eyebrows to that too. Oh. All right. Facial hair. Mm, don't want any. Face details. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh. Little freckles. Little heart. A 
It's like giving them little tattoos. Ooh, you make half your face one color too. Okay, we're gonna go with the little freckles. Wherever they were, right there. And we'll make them a little bit more faded. Mm. I like that. And pronouns. We're gonna go with she, her. Voice. <laughs> mm, definitely not the one. <laughs> that sounds the most like my actual voice, so we're gonna go with that one. Alrighty. I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Here we go. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a far away land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Aww, that's so cute. I have not seen anything of this game, by the way. This was uh, my first look and potentially your first look as well. So I know nothing about this other than what I've seen in the trailers and read about it beforehand. All right, talk. The mayor. Oh, she has a quest. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Sparrow838 and you found a message in a bottle? Uh -huh. Excellent news. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I mean, that's one way of getting people to your island. I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Pleasure to meet you too. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends. But, there's always a but. We're surrounded by whirlpools. Of course you are. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. Hmm. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. Well, this doesn't sound like the best little town. There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk that we managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Ooh, I'm intrigued. What about the shade and thorns? Yep, Azori has a real paradise. Mm -hmm, yeah, sounds like it. No, don't go. Well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. I wonder if that map updates in real time. Like the Mortars map. That would be cool. Alright. A lovely farm is waiting for you. Discover and enter your new home open. Perfect. I promise you'll love it here. Well, you certainly did a great job of selling it. Alright. Track. This is the homestead. I guess that's where we want to go. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Now how do I move around? Mouse keys. Alrighty. I'm assuming that's leading me in the correct direction. Oh yeah, because the arrow is moving around a little bit. Hmm. There. Where we find? Oh, town center. Hmm, I don't have any tools yet, so I can't, don't think I can really do anything with those. Oh, here we are. Here is my homestead. Welcome to your new home. Oh, that's just showing me that that's where the welcome package is. Investigate. You got a backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack and view or use items you collect along your journey. Alright. We have an axe, a pickaxe, a sickle, 
a shovel, and a watering can. All right, so pretty similar to Stardew Valley so far. Um, here is our bed, so you can see, ooh, F, home options. Mm, okay, we can't do that just yet. Mm, okay, return to merit. Quests, almanac, calendar. I'm assuming this is something to do with farming. Maybe townspeople that we've met? Dungeon tracker. Okay, this is multiplayer. Inventory, map. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Quit title. Okay, so these are just all of the. Oh, there's a cute little help I'm stuck button. That's so adorable. Okay, well, let's check these out. All right, so this is pinned because we are currently working on it. Um, what is the calendar? Oh, that's cute. Someone's birthday is on Thursday, looks like. I like how it shows you the weather for the whole week, too. Okay, oh, okay. And you can jump ahead if you'd like. Some sort of festivals, maybe, at the end? Current day. All right, cool. Um, Almanac. Tools and crafting. Okay, so we've unlocked. Ooh, and there's quite a few tiers for each. Tool looks like nuts and rods, crafting stations. Cool. Food and drink, dungeoneering, magic, raw materials, refined goods. Wow, there is a lot to do in this game. Skill perks. Huh. Hmm, okay, we're not gonna mess with this just yet because I don't really know what those do, but I'm sure there's a nice character somewhere who can explain it all to us. So we are gonna head back to Merit and find out what all of this means. Uh -huh. Happy to have you around. Redeem quest. Perfect. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I mean, yeah. You're giving me all the tools I need. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to be sunny all week, so I don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special Sparrow A3 touch. Hmm. Enter house name. The Nest. Don't tell me what you named it, that's just between you and your farm. Aww. Hey, farm, this house comes with one right here. This is the farm. We are standing on it. Yes, okay, it has seen better days and it will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so that's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. Go up to objects, right tool for the job. Will be used automatically. Oh, that's nice. Keep an eye on your energy. Okay, so we can get lots of things done and we can upgrade them eventually. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Alrighty. Alright, well, let's get started, I suppose. Oh, looks like we have mail. Welcome to the Dear future friend, once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I may or merit to know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey throughout turbulent seas. Wow, if only I could read today. But a brave adventure can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azoria? I mean, I kind of already have, so I don't think I really have a choice now. This is such a cute little fire. Oh, can you sit? Oh, adorable. I wonder if we would later also get bug nets to catch these little bugs that are flying around. Kind of like, um, what's that game called? Littlewood? I think. All right. Plant fibers. All 
I love that little popping sound that you hear whenever you pick something up. Aw. Oh. Well, darn. Investigate. Oh! Interesting. Okay, that's not something that I necessarily needed right now. Is this arugula? Yes, it is. Okay, let's hunt for more arugula. I assume these are the beach logs. Yeah, because they look, I mean, kind of beachy in color. <laughs> Okay, pick up beach log. Uh, pick up stone. Okay, so it takes three hits to take out stone. Um, but it gives us two per, so that's good. Nice. What is this? Oh, for digging. Oh, silt and clay. Interesting, okay. Some more rocks. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm assuming we can't chop down any of these trees yet because we are quite small. Yeah. Yep. Hmm, I wonder if you can ever actually dig up the whole thing and just make it go away or if it's just, uh, Never ending. Oh, there we go. So it's not never ending. Alrighty. Well, we just need to pick up some more arugula. Foraging level two already. Wow. Ooh, and this looks like another recipe over here. <laughs> Clay pot. Interesting. Alright, let's go back to Merit. Hopefully she has not moved. No, she has not. Hello. Azuri is the better for having you. Why, thank you. That's so nice of you. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? That would be very helpful, thank you. <laughs> it's as easy as falling down. Okay, that's good. So you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. Okay. Well, we kind of already explored that, but thank you for telling us what that is. Um, built a piece of cozy furniture and place a round woven stool inside of your home. Okay. Ooh, we can get a net. Thank you, tooltip. So C is for crafting. Um, and I think we're gonna do, um, build catalog. Okay, there we go. Round woven stool. Small and squishy. We need 10 plant fibers, which we have. Perfect. Okay, let's put this, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's just put this in the corner here. Can I not put it all the way in the corner? Oh, I have to be standing close to it. There we go. Oh, very cute. Oh, what does this do? Oh, nothing really. Decor, flooring, trim, wallpaper. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think this is how we pick things up with. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have some time for redecorating later. Try to get through as much of this tutorial as possible. You really are trying to sweeten me up to stay here, aren't you? It's like I've been doing this. Well, I did play Stardew Valley for a really long time, so I would kind of know what I'm doing. You can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up a farm is up to you. Aw, thank you for not making me build my own mailbox. A cooking fire. Things you can cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Sure, why not? Does that mean I just have to click C? How do I do that outdoors? Okay. Oh, we can edit our outfit too. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Oh, I know. Maybe I need to be down there. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Um, we're gonna build it just over... I mean, like, we can just build it in the middle of the pathway, I guess. Can we build it here? No, nope, that's outside of the grid. Okay, uh, let's do it right here. Very nice. Is it? Okay. Cook something on the cooking fire. Use. Arugula. Turns into grilled greens. Prepare one. And then we wait. What happens if you leave it on for too long? Alright. We have cooked our first thing. Hello. Yes, indeed. Let me see what you've cooked. See, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home fo cooked food always tastes better, I'd say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment. You know, get jazzy with it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right now. Let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil bits. On your storage shed. Oh, you had a storage shed, too. Go get the materials in your storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Alright. Of course it's turnips. I feel like turnips are one of the first vegetables that get used in basically everything. Alright, let's see. Um, select. Transfer. I guess all of them. Oh, oops. No, nope, that's not what I want. There we go. What's this? Sand. Transfer. And then I assume that's all we need. Okay. Let's see. Build catalog. Farm. Soil bed. Silt, sand, and beach log is what we need. Okay. Um. Hold on, before we do this, I'm just going to clear these plants here because I feel like this would be a nice spot to have our soil beds and our, um, our seeds growing. Perfect. And this tree is kind of in the way and I can't really rotate the camera, so it is what it is, but... Alrighty. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we only really need to plant three. Oops, that's fine. Um, how do we plant? Turn it. Yes. This is what I want. Alright. Let's just plant three for now. Hello. Wonderful job. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground-grown goodness. Oh, say that three times fast. I was just about to say that. Wow. <laughs> just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. We love when it rains in a farming game. And in real life, honestly. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers always say, don't leaf them alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you weren't even thinking about that harrowing jury. Well, I wasn't until you mentioned it. You should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you're here. Ah, uh, yes. Small town vibes. Go talk to Eddie, the mariner. Hmm. Mariner? Yes. He's probably near his home in Stay a While Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Haha. <laughs> Wrong tail, but okay. Okay, um, I think we should go water our plants. Let's see. Perfect. Oh, experience. 
and it looks like we have to refill our water can once in a while. Okay, map. How do we get to it? Why is it so far away? Alrighty. Mm. Nope, can't get there like that. Hold on, let's actually try to plot this course. Um, go through the town center and then over the bridge. Perfect. Wow, there's so many NPCs. But I'm sure we'll get to meet eventually, but for now. We are very, very focused on finishing these quests. Ooh, what do we have here? Muscle, sand dollar, ammonite, and coral. Okay, well, might as well just collect them all, I guess. We've gotta catch them all. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's meet- Oh, hold on. There's a rest- Oh. Oh, yes. So, space is jump. As in most games. Just in case you manage to fall into water like I did. Alrighty. Ahoy. There's lots to do on the island, landlubber. Excuse me? What did you just call me? Talk to people, learn what you can. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Redeem quest. Good to see you. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old mariner. Right. Mariner. I don't know. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. <laughs> Never mind that. You haven't lived until you fished, believe me. Give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> All right. Oh, how nice of him. Press. Okay. Now hold out your rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then you reel it in a bit at a time, not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish has bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up, and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come tell me about it. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Um, so, how- oh, of course. I'm so not used to just being able to, like, go into the ocean. Okay. Let's... Hello? I don't think it's gonna bite. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can cast it out a little bit further. I don't know if I'm catching the attention of this fish the way I want to. Hello? Wow, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Maybe let's do... Oh, there we go. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Okay, this is probably gonna take me a second. Let's figure this out. Go here. Oh, we did it. Salmon. Oh gosh, okay. 
oh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be the greatest at that or it will just take a little bit of practice. But we did it. <laughs> Hello there. There's no lack of things to do. Yes, but I'm trying to give you this fish. Um, it went not the greatest, but you know, we're here. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. I highly doubt that. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. Mm, seeing as I got here because of whirlpools, probably not, but that's fine. Enough of that. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. Really? With just one fish caught? Cool. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Oh! Mel the beekeeper can teach you about critter catching and you are going to want to pay attention to that. Yes, I am actually very interested in this, a lot more so than fishing. So let's check out our map, let's figure out where Mel is. Okay, not too far from here, thankfully. Okay. Let's just pick these up while we're here. I don't know what these can be used for, probably some sort of crafting. But yeah. Might as well. Early game, I like to pick up as many things as possible. Ooh, what is this glowing rock here? I'm assuming that's not something we'll find out anytime soon, but... I am intrigued. This is like a witchier, um, more, I don't know, cutesy version of Stardew Valley almost, is what it feels like. It's like the potion making and the critter catching and stuff like that. Good to see you. Aw, oh, town beekeeper with a sweet personality. Springtime is when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Thank you, I did just find some. A new face. When I heard someone wash up on shore, I could hardly believe it. I'm gonna like this game for all of the puns it has. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boots to have made it past the whirlpools. Makes me wonder how many people have been caught in the whirlpools and didn't make it to this island, but... Anyway, uh, I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. Yeah, back to my earlier question. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm. Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. A haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azorians by a wide margin. Um, yeah, I would hope insects outnumber people in many places. Now, don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Cute. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Okay. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Catch a few critters. Okay, well, let's hope this is easier than the fishing was. But first, a recipe. Clay brick path. Cool. Okay, um... Catch critters. Zero out of four. Did it say? Nothing? Okay. Ooh, I see a critter. Okay. It's a net. Hole. Perfect! A firefly? Ooh, okay, let's see if we can catch this butterfly over here. It's flying a little bit faster. Oh, com oh, it's a moth, not a butterfly. Sorry. Hmm, it is starting to get a little bit darker, too. At least it feels like it. Oh, what is that? Oh, more energy. That's awesome. Love that. What is this? Oi. Oh, are those the thorny vines they were talking about? Hmm, probably. Okay, but anyway, we are catching critters. Ooh, hello. You are pretty. Oh, fast. Nope. Per moon moth. Go back the way we came. There's more energy down there. Leave that for another time. Is this the way we came? Hmm. No, it does not. I don't think it was anyway. There. Oh, it might have been. Okay, anyway. I am directionally challenged, clearly, so... 
green checkered rug. Ooh, that's a big fish in there. I wonder what it is. Okay, let's catch our fourth bug. Great. Where is Mel? Hmm. I am hopelessly lost right now. Can I track it? Yeah. There we go. That's how this works. Oh, I was right. Okay. So I'm not directionally challenged. Just a little bit. Hello, sir. Oh my gosh. Can we catch the snail? Oh, we can. Amazing. You like snow? Is that because you don't have to work during the winter? How did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Honestly, me too. So far, this, this is my favorite part of this game. Critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you, but I am actually so interested in this conservatory. Please tell me more. You know, there are many critter collectors on this island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Nazoria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency if no one told you. Pearls specialty. Chairwoman of the Merchant's Guild. Kind of a big deal. You can find her in the town center marketplace. Okay, so it sounds like that's the next person we need to go meet. Um, a map. Because I don't know where I'm going. Town center. Probably. Great. It's very nice meeting you. What a lovely guy. Ah, there you are. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. Hard earned Florence. Fantastic to meet you. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of, am I right? What if I could what if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold hard cash? It's true. You can sell that stuff for Florence right here and now. Well in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now is not the time for questions. It's the time to learn. But, okay, I've, I have questions about that statement, but pay attention to it because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers sold. Clay sold. Spring peeper sold. And it's so easy, a chiku could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You could put something on those tables and by the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering who is buying everything. Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems like. Interesting. That's why I have a pillow that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Okay, this sounds like well, might be one of the last quests we have to do for today. Um, okay, so. What do we want to sell? Why don't we sell one of these? Oh, we can just sell a bunch of things on the same table. So we looks like we have eight slots per table. Good to know. A mussel. Mm, let's keep those because those are things we can use to cook. Salmon. Mm, let's put down a corp. Okay. And by tomorrow morning, we will have 17 coins, which I don't believe we have any coins right now. Is Merit... Nope, she's somewhere in the town center. Oh, right here. Hello there. Azoria's the better for having you. Yeah, you keep telling me that, but... New recipe beverage station. Cool. Chapter 1 completed. Oh, just like that. Oh, I see. And then at the end, we end the day and we get all of our cash broken down into nice categories too. More details. Oh, okay. And then you can also see exactly what you sold. That's 
really nice. Um, pretty sure you can do that in Stardew too, but cool. Tells us what, uh, what season it is, what year, what day, what time. Oh, we did have money. We had 50 florins to start with. Okay, well, ooh, what are these? I see another new one. Well, I think chapter two might be the start of a new day, obviously, but also might be a good place to stop for today. Um, so this was the beginning of Fae Farm. And yeah, like so far, I'm really enjoying it. I really like the vibes of this game. I thought they fit the vibes of my channel pretty well. It seems quite cozy. Um, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this first look. I will be trying to upload a video a week of just running around and playing Fae Farm. Nothing too crazy. But our time is going by, so I think maybe I should sign off for today. So I will see you next time. Bye!